Your dog is adorable. Truly a remarkable beast. The best animal around. So is it at all surprising that you often end up getting overwhelmed by your pup's cute little face and feel the need to give them a big hug? Or even an affectionate kiss? But before you pucker up for your pooch, you may find yourself feeling concerned. Does your dog actually enjoy being kissed? Do they understand that when you do this, you're showing them affection? What if they secretly find the whole thing disgusting and are just tolerating it for your sake? And is it even safe to let your dog lick your face or to kiss them on the mouth? Or are you risking all kinds of horrible germs when you do this? In this video, we're going to look at the answers to all these questions. But before we dive in, why not subscribe and join our canine loving community for more videos about how to understand your furry friend? Does my dog know what kissing means? Dogs don't exactly kiss each other the way we do. Apart from anything else, they don't have our flexible lips, which play a pretty key role in the whole kissing process. But our pooches do understand when we're trying to show them affection. Dogs are very intelligent animals and are highly attuned to the emotions of their human family members. Just like your dog knows that you calling them a good doggy is a sign of affection, even though they can't exactly call you a good human back, although they surely would if they could, they know that your kisses mean that you love them. Does my dog like being kissed? Although your dog likely knows that you kissing them is a sign of affection, that doesn't mean they necessarily enjoy it. Dog body language and human body language often don't match up. Humans smile when we're happy. Dogs show their teeth when they're annoyed. Humans like to be hugged and squeezed by people we like. Dogs find this at best constricting and at worst actually uncomfortable. Humans move our faces towards each other when we want to show someone that we love them. Dogs do it when they want to show another dog that they view them as a threat. Your dog knows that you're not threatening them when you lean in for a smooch, but their instincts are still going to be telling them that they need to feel nervous about it. Whether they give in to this nervousness and how nervous they feel will depend on your dog's individual personality, but some breeds are more or less affectionate than others. Dogs that were originally bred to be companions for humans or to do jobs that require them to spend a lot of time alongside their human bosses tend to be the most cuddly. These are dogs like Golden Retrievers, Pugs, Spaniels, and Dox Huns. How can I tell if my dog is okay with me kissing them? Your dog letting you kiss them isn't a sign on its own that they're enjoying it. Dogs can be very obliging and will often put up with a lot of puzzling or even uncomfortable behaviors from the humans they love. So how can you tell whether your buddy is actually enjoying your kisses? Look at their body language. You're probably already aware of the main sign that your pup is enjoying themselves. A waggy tail. Dogs wag their tails to show that they're happy. So if you notice that tail wagging behind them while you're giving them a kiss, then you know that your affection is appreciated. A dog who enjoys your kisses will also try to get more of them by leaning into your touch. They might also respond by showing you affection in their own way, by licking your face. Does my dog try to kiss me? Dogs love to lick our faces. You might have heard this referred to as washing, but it doesn't mean your pup thinks you're dirty or in need of a bath. Dogs lick their pack mates, and mother dogs lick their puppies to show each other love and affection. When your dog does the same thing to you, it's their way of showing you that they consider you to be part of their pack and part of their family. Maybe it's worth a bit of slobber to know your buddy loves you. How can I tell if my dog isn't enjoying being kissed? If your dog is well behaved and assuming you're not pushing them too far, then they're unlikely to show their displeasure in any super obvious ways like growling or showing their teeth. But there are some more subtle signs of discomfort that you can look for in your dog's body language. One of the clearest signs that your dog isn't happy about being kissed is if they try to avoid it. If your dog keeps leaning away or turning their head whenever you lean in for a kiss, then that's their way of setting a boundary that you should respect. No means no, even if it's non-verbal. Alternatively, if your dog doesn't feel able to move away, they may go stiff instead. Just like you might tense up during an awkward or uncomfortable conversation, your dog tenses up when experiencing physical affection that they find awkward or uncomfortable. 
You can also look at their tail. Just as a wagging tail indicates happiness, a tail tucked right under the body indicates that your dog is scared or stressed. The same is true for pinned back ears. You might also notice that your doggo has a habit of yawning when you kiss them. This doesn't mean that you're boring them, but it doesn't mean that they're relaxed and ready for a nap either. Yawning in dogs is what's known as a displacement behavior, a behavior that is meant to redirect a negative emotion, like how some humans fiddle with their jewelry when they're stressed. Is kissing my dog safe? Dogs are lovely animals, but they aren't the cleanest. You've seen your dog lick their own butt. You've seen them eat their own puke. Heck, you've seen them eat their own poop. You might sometimes find yourself wondering what germs might be lurking in your dog's mouth. Well, the bad news is there are a lot of them. The worst news is that some of them are zoonotic, meaning that they can be passed from animals to humans. What diseases could I get from my dog's saliva? You'll be pleased to know that it's pretty rare for somebody to contract an illness purely from their dog licking their face. Bacteria generally need a way into the body in order to make you sick, so long as you don't have any open cuts on your face, and so long as you aren't actually ingesting their slobber, yuck, most of the time you'll get away with it. One way you can ensure that those odds of infection stay low is to keep your dog's tongue away from your face when you know that their mouth is probably dirty. If your pup has been eating garbage or washing their butt or lapping up their own puke, then don't let them lick your face. Dogs can transmit all kinds of bacteria to their humans this way, including E. coli and salmonella. You should also ideally try to direct your doggo's tongue away from your nose and mouth and onto your cheeks, where there's less risk of you accidentally ingesting or breathing in germs. In some cases, dogs can also carry parasites like ringworm hookworms and giardia in their spit. Like we say, you'll probably be all right, but pucker up at your own risk. How else can I show my dog some love? If you don't feel comfy kissing your dog, or if your dog is uncomfortable being kissed, don't worry. There are plenty of other ways to show your fur baby some love. Dogs have all sorts of ways to say, I love you. And here we're going to look at a couple of ways that you might not be familiar with which you can adopt in order to show your pup some love in their own language. You might have heard that looking a dog directly in the eye can make them think that you want to start a fight. This is true for stranger dogs, but for a dog who you already know and trust, gazing into their eyes can actually be a sign of true love. You may have noticed your pup staring at you in the past, and you can share the love by returning their look. If you have a large dog, you can also try leaning on them. Dogs lean on each other and on you to show love and trust. If you want to copy this gesture, be sure not to put your whole weight on your dog. Human speech is a maze of words, tones, and emotions. How much of this can your dog actually decipher? Sometimes it feels like your furry friend is conveniently ignoring you, and you're spot on. In this video, we'll cover recent research revealing that dogs understand much more than they let on. 